Hey everybody, Murray and J08 is here with a new channel update after two weeks. We got a lot to cover since our last update. Since our last update, you guys saw Odd World, new and tasty. You saw an unboxing of The Last of Us, PS4 Remastered. We went right into the playthrough. I am now on my second stream. And our ongoing series of Dark Souls 2 continued on the PlayStation 3. And you guys actually had a little bit of an annual treat this week. That's right, our New Jersey State Fair was going on. And I did go to vlog it. And I tried to cover pretty much everything of the fair without overloading everyone. I uploaded them in about two or three days. So they are all uploaded. The fair is now over. And, uh... That is pretty much what what I covered of the fair. Now, after that, we went right into my blast from the past. I played a whole mess of games. I'm actually going to go back to that in a little bit and explain a little a dilemma that I witnessed. Uh, I did some Android app reviews. I haven't done one of them in a while. We did check out an app called Ghost Observer. It is free. And then right back into The Last of Us that you're going to be seeing after this update. And... Uh, gameplay footage of the PS4 indie game Entwined that I've been promising. It's quite hilarious. Believe me, it's it's barrels of fun. Trust me, you'll know when you when you watch it. Uh, made a complete mock of myself. Not the first time either. So, back to what I was saying about the blast from the past. Those of you that follow me on Twitter and, and watch me live on Twitch... We had a little bit of an interesting case here. What happened was I was streaming and uploading... I had messed with my settings. I tried, as you know, I am now streaming at higher settings and recording at higher higher settings, especially on these next-gen consoles, and I never switched my settings back, not even really thinking it, it would matter. I was just going to leave them as defaulted. And we got into some serious problems. I was doing the virtual console. We were doing Kirby's Adventure. We were doing a, mostly a Mega Man 3. And it just went to crap. I mean... Absolute audio glitching, graphical glitches, um, pixelization, the screen exploding. The whole entire thing was, was crazy. And on stream, it wasn't, you know, as bad. When I uploaded the raw files to YouTube, it, it, and I played them back, and it's just, oh, damn, this is not right. And, I mean, people were writing me, oh, my God, this is crap. <laughs> So, with the fellow help of a subscriber of mine, wrote me on Google+, Plus. his name is John, he wrote me and he said, Sean, he says, uh, listen, do this, 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 do this bitrate with your streaming software, XSplit, uh, do this with your PVR, do this, blah, 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 when you're doing the virtual console, and then revert back to this, and do this preset, or whatever the heck he... So, anyway, I... We chatted back and forth, and I wrote everything down, and I tried it, and lo and behold, it, it worked great. It actually worked really well. And I did a test the other day, about two days ago, it was, yeah. And uh, I did a test on stream, and everybody said, Sean, looking good. And I th those f you can actually see those videos on YouTube, the test videos. And uh, compare them to the... I actually uploaded the original videos. You can compare them night and day. So... This is what happens with technology. This stuff happens. Um, every game, every system, every setting is is different. You you know what I've I've only been I said this on stream. I've only been doing this for a few months still with direct capture. I'm still learning the ins and outs. There's a lot to learn. And uh, as far as streaming, it's just a whole new world. And you can't. It's not like oh I nailed it. You know if this works perfect, I'm not gonna touch nothing. It doesn't work that way. You know, when you're streaming PC games, that's a whole other setting. When you're streaming retro games, that's a whole other setting. When you're streaming PS4, when you're streaming Wii U, uh, when you're streaming PS3, uh, Wii, 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 Xbox, Xbox 360, um, Xbox One, it's it's all different. There's nothing that's the same. I'm constantly fixing audio levels because each volume in each game is different. I'm constantly messing with resolution because because each game is different. There's some games that you can go real high on. There's some games that you can't. You start running into problems. I'm still learning that. Thanks to the chat and thanks to fellow subscribers, I'm able to fine-tune it 
and I've been making lists and notes of what settings work with what system and what game in case that I in the future if I ever mess with the setting I know how to revert back to it according to what game I'm playing you know but bound to happen bound to run into these problems but luckily I was able to fix them with the help of some nice people and uh, hey you gotta pay to play you know that's all about streaming that's all about uh, direct capture you know, it's not like the way I used to do it. On top of that, I've been trying to really push stuff in the future of the channel. I've been messing with the green screen. I get a big kick out of people that, you know, go all out and buy these extravagant green screens. And I've talked to some of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube, and they told me on Twitter, Sean, you got about 12 to 15 bucks. Here's what you do. This is a computer ain't going to know any different. And they showed me some footage, and I was like, holy crap, that's what you spent on that? between the paper and the tape and, you know, setting it up and the lights. All stuff that you already have and stuff that you can get at your craft department at Walmart. And they says, and lo and behold, the more and more people that you talk to, that's exactly what they did. So I've been messing with that. I'm going to use it on some of my upcoming series, and I'm probably going to do updates live, my uh, channel update uh, series. Probably going to be doing it with that and any reviews or any podcasts that I do in the future in my office and uh, still messing with uh, all kinds of technology trying to improve the channel we got lots coming you're probably wondering this is a channel update what's what's coming well, like I said I just uploaded entwined you want to check that out Dark Souls 2 will be coming back while we have downtime and uh, we will be checking out some indie games and also you are going to be seeing a lot more of The Last of Us including the Left Behind DLC on the PlayStation 4, which was never originally covered here, and probably some multiplayer. Aside from that, I will be getting Street Fighter or Ultra Street Fighter 4. You're going to be seeing a lot of matches with that. I will be doing that throughout the week. That's another good filler game in between whatever. And I still have those Call of Duty Ghost DLC maps that I didn't record yet. But all of my Titanfall coverage is uploaded. You definitely want to check that out. So there is more first-person shooter madness, I like to call it. That's coming to the channel. You definitely want to check it out. And uh, I will be checking out probably uh, Rogue Legacy and Road Not Taken. And there was another one, too. Oh, The Swapper. Now, I did put up a poll on a couple of my social media sites. And the, the game that won the poll was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Wii U, as I promised to play it since it came out and I never did now is a good time to do that as you know we're not all about new games new releases what's hot what's trending in it for the money and all that jazz we go back we do old games we do months ago years ago retro Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is the next game that you will be see covered on the channel I've already got subscribers sending in tons and tons of subscriber artwork for the game and uh, I will be using them on the pre playthrough intro as our stream builds up and that will be happening sometime this week. I will send a Twitter out to everybody at Sean, Mary, and Jay when that happens so you guys don't miss it. And of course, everything is archived to this channel. And uh, a lot of surprises. Actually, um, a lot of stuff that I'm not going to announce. You guys got to stick around and find out. Or follow me on Twitter. Because uh, there will be another iOS app review coming out soon. I have another unboxing coming up. And I actually have my PlayStation 4 and Xbox One collection so far videos that everybody's been asking me to make. And I am going to be making a PC game collection video and a music CD um, box set collection because I have tons of them. But Xbox One collection is coming out soon, probably this week, and following it, my PS4 collection. As um, they'll be growing soon, hopefully, with the uh, hardcore gaming season coming up. But everybody said, hey, Sean, you know, and I do talk about what indie games I have as well. So you'll find out pretty much every game that I have up until when I recorded these videos, that is. Okay, and that is that. We are going to end the channel update. I hope that was informative to you. Please keep an update on the channel through Twitter as I update my Twitter page every day. And I only do these updates every so many weeks. And you definitely want to stay in the net in the know because I do inform people of what I am playing especially subscriber interactions, questions, and uh, 
Of course, we're working on that big podcast coming up that's going to feature your questions. So keep sending them in. I would be gladly answering them in the next podcast and the next Q&A, which will be a separate video. Take care, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Check the channel out. Lots coming. Lots in the works. And I will see you on the next channel update.